Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jean and I am so, so excited about this unboxing. I've been waiting for this probably over a year when I first seen that they were going to be introducing this out in the world. Um, so we are going to unbox it today and I think we can quick bind one together because it shouldn't take too long. There's not much to it really. So let's, I got mine off of HSN first of all, by the way. I will show you. If you buy it in the market, you're just going to get this, the machine, and you're going to get three of the binding spines and a clip. That's what you're going to get if you just buy it in the stores or whatever. For with the HS, and of course, you know how they always give you a bundle. With the bundle, I got the, the rainbow set of spines. There's six spines in here, and we'll go over the spines when we get to it. I got the die cut spines came with it, six of them, and this one's called the neutrals, and we'll, we're going to show you all about those, and then an extra pack of 12 of, this is your glue strip, so that is the very important little piece with it. All right, so let's open this up, maybe, because you know, sometimes these things are hard to, un there we go, lose a finger or two, but you know. All right, let's get this pulled out. Let's see what do we got down here? Okay, again, this is all you get with the if you buy it in the stores. Okay, so let's get all this out of here. Okay, we don't need all that. Yes. All the plastic. And for their today's special value, they were only offering the teal color. You could get the pink one at a $20 higher price, but it didn't come with any of the today's special value stuff. That was one of the things for the today's special value that you could not get it. It was $79.99, whatever the, you know, so $80 was the today's special value. Uh, they're 99 something when they go on to into the market okay so i just unraveled my cord so i can get that plugged in because i need to leave that plugged in all right so this is the cinch and then this piece here this which looks like your lid will be your basically your cooling rack so it looks like a giant toaster do not toast anything in there okay let's let's read the directions guys Here's your, let's open this up. I'll show you what we have in there. So you get the clip, which is, is important for, you know, using the clip your paper together. It'll help out. Uh, okay, so then we got the three colors in here. And then you can see the little um, the score marks and everything. And then here is, this is the tape that's going to tape to your paper. Okay. And then this down the middle will be your glue strip. Okay. Oh, these are, I believe they said they were like a quarter of an inch. I'm going to find my ruler. It's probably here. You can make, definitely make your own. And if you want to use wider paper and stuff, you are definitely going to be making your own. Because they only sell them um, with, they are about a quarter of an inch. So you're, I'll show you that, we'll fold that over. Okay, so that's what you're going to get. Okay, that aside. All right, let's read. Okay, here's your... Directions. I'm looking for glasses, but of course, you know, I probably don't have them right down here by me, you know, or I do, but they're, you know, I don't think I need the glasses. Here we go. I had to move everything off of this table so we can kind of get this in here. Okay. So this stuff is just all your, you know, okay. So it says the so first thing we're going to do is select the binding spine that we want and trim to the desired book length. Then you can compile compile your book contents. The included point quarter inch spine 
will hold 50 sheets of copy paper or 25 sheets of cardstock. I already got the paper ready. You guys don't want to see me cut this. I'll tell you what size I did mine. We're going to insert the paper and the covers. If you, I'm not doing a cover. I'm just going to do the papers. We don't have time to make the fancy cover and all that stuff. So I'm going to insert the papers into our spine. We're going to peel off that adhesive liner and tape it down. Then if you want to put a bookmarker in, which I'll, bookmarkers didn't come with this kit, but I will show you. I did buy the extra add-ons, so I'll show you the bookmarkers. You would add your bookmarker in there. You're going to plug in your machine and flip the power switch, so I'm going to do that quick. Then the indicator will light will stop blinking when the machine is ready. Okay, so let's get that turned on. Let's find it right here on the side. So there is your on-off switch, and right away it's got a blue light there. And it says, plug in the machine and flip the switch on the side panel. Blinking light will beep when machine is ready. Place the book in the machine and press enter. All right, that takes about two minutes, I think. Okay, so first, let's get this ready. I am going to use, I think I'm going to use this color. So let's get it all folded up. Actually, it's easier to see that the lines that way. So I will fold it and then we will... I'm just going to get it folded right now. I'm going to cut it down. Okay. So I'm going to do... So I cut these. I took 25 sheets of my copy paper. Just regular old copy paper. And I cut them down the four and a quarter by five and a half. That gets you two notebooks from 25 sheets of copy paper. 50 sheets here, okay? So we're gonna, first we're gonna measure where we wanna cut this off. And I'm just gonna cut with scissors. I don't need to get the machine out and cut it, cut it that way. You know, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna old school it. And if I didn't cut it perfectly, well, we're not gonna stress about it because we're just doing a quick sample so you guys can see. And we just wanna make sure it's all Tap down good. Okay, make sure everything is tapped down really, really good. Any clip, like I said, they give you a clip. You can use their clip if you want. Okay, put their clip on. So the next thing what you're going to do is you're just going to put your, and you can see that I cut crooked because I didn't use my cutting. And I'm like, I'm going rogue. You can hear the beep. That means it's ready. So we're going to put that in there. First thing we're going to do, we're going to peel off one side. Do one side at a time, guys, because you don't want to accidentally tape it in the wrong spot because you'll never get it back up again. Okay, so I'm going to push it, make sure it's all the way in there. And then I'm going to bring that over. Okay, press it down good. Now, normally I would probably be doing like maybe, and I will do it. I will be doing making a bunch of samples with it. I'm just doing a quick open unboxing and a quick sample so we can see it together. But I will be making, don't worry, I'm, I already have a junk journal plan that I want to make and regular. Okay, now just push it. Make sure it's up tight against your uh, glue strip. Tape it down. You can see I have that. Now we just put it in, right? It says, Remove, okay, blinking light will beep when book, oh, is ready. Oh, okay, so I, I did it backwards. So I'll, you're supposed to put it, okay, plug the machine in and flip switch on side panel. Blinking light will beep when we're ready, when the machine is ready. Okay, place book in machine and press timer. Okay, yeah. I thought I was ahead of myself. And then you can put it, you're just going to slip it right down in. You can see the, how that opens down there. There's like a little... We're going to put it in there. You can put more than one book in there. Okay, we're going to put it down in there. We want it to touch down as far as it goes. Okay. And now we're going to switch. Go ahead and push this timer button. Okay. Now you can see it's blinking. Okay. While that's doing its thing, it takes about two minutes. I'm going to show you the add-ons. I got the bookmark add-ons. So you can see the, the bookmarks. Let's see if I can quickly. 
we got we'll have like total of seven minutes here because it's got to sit and cool for five minutes get these out and we can kind of get a better look at them don't remember how much the add-ons were so we got some little strips here i think those are to use to glue this down inside so don't lose those then these are just like a card stock okay they're all kind of stuck here i'm not gonna pull them out so you get six of them seven i can write on it one two three four five six seven eight different ones my weekend is all booked then you got the ones where you can just write on if you're handing them out to people. That's kind of cool. Go away, I'm reading. To be continued. And then another one of those. Th this was part of it. You, I think otherwise these are sold individually in the stores. You're not going to get them by the kit like I did. And then the other, another set of the bookmarks is this one. We're going to try to listen for the beep too here. It's about two minutes to, for the glue. Oh my goodness, that one doesn't want to come out. I guess we'll rip the package. I don't really want to rip the package. Okay, so now it's telling me I need to take it out. And then you just set it there. There is no bottom there. You just set it there. Can you see? I just set it down there. Sorry, I stuck my head in there. These ones have the, like, you know, the acrylic or whatever and the metal. And on the ribbon, and you got the little glue things. So I'm trying to, there you go. Get that out so you can see the different patterns. So that set of bookmarks. And then this one's got the tassels on. So you get six of them with the different, all different color tassels. That one's cute too. And then this one is kind of interesting because this is a um, stencil bookmarks. You get four of them. Like I'm watching my timer. Because there's no timer for the cooling down process. Okay, so see this one's got stencils. Your ribbon is long enough that what you do with the stencil is you can draw little things inside your journal. You can make lines in your journal. You've got different shapes. Got to pull some of those out. You've got dollar signs there. You've got all your different shapes up here. You got a ruler on here. So that's that one was kind of cool. That'll be really cute. Okay, so you got that. I already have like a million ideals in my head. And then I got to make sure I'm pulling the right sets here because one, two, three. Let's see what goes with what now. Now I mixed it all up. I think. Well, now I think I did mix it up, but I'll just show you. So these are, when they are on the market, you'll be buy, able to buy each one separate. I don't remember what was in the kit now. I accidentally mixed them up. So there's six floral ones in here. You can kind of see the, does it show? There you go. Shows all six floor shapes on there, or colors, I mean, designs. And then you can get these ones, which is called the die cuts. And then... So they all have the pretty fancy edges, which I show you when we may actually make some. I'll make some of my own with my punches. Then this one's called the Retro. And there's some of your designs. These are all the spines right now. And then we can turn this off. Oh, no, I'm going to make one more a different way. Okay. This one's got um, the labels. So it's got the this book belongs to you. And it's got some other different labels on there. This one's called the label, so then you can write on the side of your book. And this one is just the neutrals, so you get six of them again. Yes, I know, I bought everything. But they're in the kit, so they're a little better deal than when they come on the market. And this one was called the rainbow. And then there's one, one, two, three, four five six you get three three each with the, the kit from qvc and it, then it came with one of the 12 bindings the glue strips 
So you got one of each of those. So I'll have plenty because I also got the acetate. This is like, we'll make some acetate book covers and it is just acetate, you know, which you can use on other things. There's 12 pieces of acetate in here and they're 12 by 12, of course. Let's see if there's any more. These are only designs that they have on a shirt. Here, look at, they made boxes out of the acetate. So you can use this acetate for anything. This one came with 50 binding sorry, glue strips. So you got 50 glue strips with this. You do need the glue strips. You can make your own bindings binding strips you can make your own binding strips and i will make some of our own when i demonstrate this later on but you do need to have glue strips now i didn't need to buy all these but i did you know because i can make my own binding strips but the glue strips you need so I, I think i have plenty of glue strips because i've gotten 12 36 and then I got this kit. So I'm good. I think I'm good for a while. Okay. Let's get this one in, in quick. This one should be cooled. But before I show you that, let's get this one. This one I'm going to do the other. I'm going to glue the, the topper the other direction. You know what I mean, right, guys? I will show you. So I'm going to do from the top. Normally, I would use my little cutters for this, so, to get more straight, but, you know, we're going rogue here. We're going rogue. Okay, let's get this going. Make sure it's all down nicely. Again, I'm going to tuck it in there. And I can see, but we're going to do it anyways. Actually, let's make it shorter, because you can see that on the... The glue strip does not go all the way to the end of the paper. We're going to keep that in mind because I don't know how much it spreads or not. What I am going to do, because there is not going to be no glue there, I'm just going to cut that off. And then I will center this instead like that and show some paper on each side. Now imagine I would either have chipboard here or... A really pretty piece of cardstock. Just imagine that right now. I'm just showing you how it glues together paper. Okay. So I just want to get it in there tight. Press it down. I don't even care if it's perfectly straight out right now. I'm just checking to see how well it, it glues together for you guys. Okay. All right. So we're ready to put it back in. Make sure it touches the bottom and then just push your timer. There you go. And then it starts blinking. So here's what I got. So now it's all binded together. Let's go and turn it upside down and see if I need loose pages in there. Okay. And you're supposed to be able to lay, lay this down, open it up and lay it open flat kind of, which I can do. It's kind of flat, I guess. So I can, I don't see no pages coming out there and my don't worry this isn't the cover so it's it's kind of crappy right there but it looks like it came out just a little bit there and this back page to my lid my lid my lid pages uh, I didn't even have them on the glue see that's why it's very important to get them tucked in there but it's stuck to the glue okay so that's how that works now remember this is my first time doing it so I didn't get it perfectly in there, so we're not gonna we're not gonna say it's faulty or anything because I'm doing this quickly to show you guys. Okay, now we gotta wait for this one. But again, if you get it off of HSN, I'm sure they'll still have the a bundle with. Let's show you again what the bundle came with. I'm sure they'll have the bundle. So you get the, all together, you get what, 18 binding strips and an additional 12 glue strips. So that's with the, to the special value, which I think you can still get the bundles. And then your binding strips look like this. Okay, we can take that out and let that cool. Okay. And again, the binding strips are already got the tape on there for you. And then you little, it's a, it's like a, 
you know, like probably just like dry hot glue kind of thing in there. First thoughts though for me, you know, I, I think I'm going to enjoy this. I already have, I've been thinking of, you know, doing a, a junk journal this way, my albums this way, notebooks with, they, if you watch the presentation, they, you know, like there's cookbooks you can make, your, your calendar books you can make, you can just glue a bunch of photos together and make a photo book. They had so many really good ideas on there and I just can't wait to get started and I will have another video where we'll actually make some fancier notebooks and stuff. So don't worry, we're here. But otherwise at first, you can smell a little bit of the, like, I don't know if it's the glue I'm smelling or just the heat element down there. So I can smell a little, I can turn it off now. I can smell a little bit of that. Nothing where I, I wouldn't be able to stand it or anything like that, you know. I'm going to try to lay that this way without, you know, I'll take this out. I know you're supposed to let it sit for five minutes. So it's just like, uh, I would say it's just plastic. And then it has, you'd shut that up, but I don't want to shut up. You know, there's not really much heat coming out. And it's got a cord wrap on the bottom too, guys. Look, I'll give them, I'll give them a little bonus point for that because if there's anything I hate, is no way to, to wrap up your cord. So let's wrap up our cord while we're waiting for that to cool. So then you would just take your lid, pop it back on like that. And then we have our little cord wrapper here. Trying to do this, holding this up in the air and, you know, with one hand. Try to tuck it in there and tuck it in there. And tuck it in, Jean. There we go. And there. There you have it. Compact. Okay. Now, this hasn't been five minutes, so... But you can't even feel like it, you know, any... How did I do on this one? This one looks better. So I don't see nothing loose there. I got my, pay, my covers better there. So I did better on this one. You can do it so you have a tight you glue from the top so you have a opening this way or you can open it from the side there's many many things you can do with this guys i hope you enjoyed this little unboxing here and if you have any questions let me know you want something special you want me to make with it we'll give it a try hey i'm ready to try anything i got plenty of supplies right now don't i all right, guys, as always, I will see you in the next one.